Hello everyone, Dead Spikes here. Today I'm going to be talking about how to farm the Desert Temple. Desert Temple is a great place to farm. You do get a lot of good stuff from farming it. Now there's two ways you can farm it. There's either the Speedway or there is the Slow Way. The Slow Way is killing all the ads and going through it um, either with a team or by yourself, but basically just killing everything. The Fast Way is just speed running with um, the suit that I will be showing you. I do recommend taking the slow way and killing everything, but I will just show you guys the fast way quick. Um, I'm wearing the evocation robe. I highly suggest it with cooldown speed synergy. A better variant would be cooldown cooldown speed synergy. But as long as you have cooldown, you are able to do this. Um, for my artifacts, I'm running two ghost cloaks and a boots of swiftness. That's what I recommend for every speed running strat. If you do get double cooldown, it's possible to possibly drop a cloak, but there's nothing else you really need. Alright, so we're loaded up into Desert Temple. Let's get her done. You have to learn how to cycle between your two cloaks. The cloak will make it so you can basically phase through things. So it'll make it so you can just walk through enemies. Now that area I just passed right there sometimes splits off to the left. And if it does split off to the left, go take it. Because it's more than likely going to be an obsidian chest. I do recommend running all paths possible when you are speed running or going slow because there is a few hidden obsidian chests that you can get that you won't even know is there until you run it yourself. This key is always going to be here and this key section is always something you're going to have to do. So just learn how to be able to dodge hits and everything and get through. It is quite tedious if you don't do it right. This next area is like the most important and some people reset after they go in here. Now when you get in here, you're gonna get two angles. You can either get this angle where I'm kind of, I would kind of say you're looking from the bottom left to the bottom right. This is the good angle. The other angle is you're looking from the bottom right to the top left. You get that angle, you cannot get the obsidian chest. If you get this angle, the obsidian chest will always be here. Roll down here, this wall will drop down. You just jump inside, boom, obsidian chest. Pretty awesome. Obsidian chests have a pretty good rate for uniques. I have a video coming out on that in a few days, by the way. Um, if you always come up here, there's a hidden gold chest. This gold chest will be here whether you got the bad angle or the good angle. It'll always be there. There is a trick to be able to get to it. If you got the bad angle, you can just roll over like this. Hold on. Yeah, point the right way. Point the right way. <laughs> there we go. And you can just roll over the fence rather than having to go around. Up to you. Um, there's also another gold chest in here. Sometimes there is two extra gold chests, actually. I wouldn't play with uh, wooden chests. They do have a chance to drop things, but I mean, not often enough to risk the death. Uh, if you see in this uh, top left uh, area up here, there's sometimes a hidden chest here. I'll, always one out of the four will have that little hidden area. Uh, after you hit all three out of the four, or, or three beacons, this path will come up so you can get across. Beacons are these like uh, little things right here. Three out of the four paths have them, just click them. After you click three, that path will pop up to be able to give you that gold chest. Now that we are back on track, let's keep going this way. There's always a pig chest here. Kill the pig chest. Pig chests have really good uh, drop rates. Um, there's sometimes a boss here. It's up to you whether you want to kill the boss or not. Well, it's a mini boss like an enderman. Um, surprisingly, he didn't spawn there that time. Quite often that he does. Bosses do give pretty good loot. <sighs> So like I said, explore all the extra areas in here just in case there's a hidden chest or something. Doesn't take long. See, there's a gold chest. You don't have to wait on the emeralds by all means. Unless you really care about emeralds that much. Sometimes there's a chest up here. Nothing. Alright, let's go back on track over here. Oh, there's a boss. There he is, the evoker. I was going to say, it's quite weird that there isn't one. All right, now this will always be here right here. This is like a checkpoint thing where you have to kill everything to be able to get through. I like to throw on an actual build for it for a minute. Kind of a pain to do with just my speed running. There we go. Got two more waves, I think. go one more wave now come on 
that should be it yeah there we go all right let's put our speed suit back on put our gauntlets back on the gauntlets are great for piggies because you can kill them quick so you can stop and just punch them a few times and finish them off you don't need the supply chest by all means but might as well grab the health sadly there is no way to skip that my knowledge um, these little paths like this, you don't have to stop at. There's another piggy. Always grab the piggies. Whether you're speed running or slow running, always grab them. They give good loot. Then we're actually at the end already, which is pretty insane. Um, there's not really ever chests in this room. There is wooden chests, but I don't think I've ever seen a golden or obsidian or nothing. Sadly, I only did get one obsidian chest in that run. Um, but you can get up to three. Go to all of the paths possible. Which, I mean, I did, but they didn't spawn. Um, looks pretty good to me. For the boss, this is what I like to run. I just like to run Gong Mushroom Firework. With the Renegade Armor. And you could normally one-shot him with a nice Firework Harp Crossbow. Um, this next part's up to you again. There could be a mini boss. I don't think there's ever a pig chest. There's a nice little mini boss that you could kill if you would like to stop for a second. Gotta get my speed back on. Uh, there we go. Wooden chest, wouldn't worry about them. No mini boss spawn though. Hmm, weird. Oh, we're just at the end. So, um, you can either just return to camp after killing the boss or you can just finish it like that. Depends on if you want the artifact at the end. Most people that are playing at this ender stage where they just want loot from the boss are going to just return to camp. I suggest that to do so. Now, it does look like boss gives you the best drop rates in the game out of some of my testing. They're going to give you better than obsidian chests, gold chests, pig chests, mini bosses, everything. Um, bosses have way better rates for uniques. So I do not recommend just doing the obsidian chest run. I do recommend getting to the boss and killing him. That'll do it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please make sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you have not yet, please consider subscribing to the channel for some more helpful content like this. If you have not yet, go check out my Twitch stream in the pinned comment down below. I will be live later today, and I'm live pretty much every single day. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I'll see you in the next video. This is Bikes out.